Welcome to Queer Astrology. In these videos, we're going to be covering your sun sign. If your rising and moon are also in the sign, that's important. Our Mars sign is our top energy. And then we have Venus, which is the bottom energy. Now, I won't be covering the houses of the zodiac in these videos, but I do want you to take note if you have any placements in your natal chart in the fifth or seventh house, as they have to do with how you get down. Welcome to the Capricorn video. Uh, this is going to be so much fun, everybody. This is the first out of the 12 zodiac signs. Uh, now, Capricorn is actually the 10th zodiac sign. It's Capricorn season. So this is why I'm starting here. I'm also a Capricorn and I have a Capricorn in Mars, uh, not in Venus, but this is a great video for me to start out with um, because it's going to help me hone in on exactly what I'm trying to do and what I would like to uh, to say. Without further ado, let's let's get to it, shall we? So Capricorn is the Earth cardinal sign. Now there's Earth signs, there's water signs, there's fire signs, and there's air signs. Three of each of those. Now within each of those elements, there's three different modalities. There's cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The cardinal signs are the leaders, like in this case Capricorn, which starts the winter season. Then you move into the fixed signs, and those are the people that carry the weight. They're like the worker bees. They carry the brunt of the season. Rounding up the end of the season are the mutable signs, and they are really adaptable to change. They're used to that because things are ending. Capricorn, it's from December 21st to January 21st. It's noted as the sea goat, which is its little animal. And you'll see the symbol for it is kind of like an N thing. Ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is the planet of karma and restriction. The good part of that relies on obstacles to create a stronger individual and in wherever it resides in your chart. Which is something you also kind of associate with Capricorn usually. <laughs> Capricorn is some of the main things that people say about them. There's positives and negatives. They're ambitious. They're hard workers. They're no nonsense. They can also be a little bit boring, <laughs> kind of asshole-ish. But we're slow and steady. We're driven. We, we like to be efficient and effective with things that we do. And we like to be really good at what we do. The whole women are from Venus and men are from Mars shit, that's bullshit. It's actually about energy and that's where I think we're going in this world. So that's why this is called Queer Astrology. I'm hoping to keep it as non-binary as possible because screw binary. You know, Capricorn is kind of like an automatic top. <laughs> that doesn't mean all Capricorns are tops. That's not what I'm saying, but that's kind of the energy that they give off. So when we get to um, Venus, represents the way you love. It's ruled by Libra and Taurus, supposed to be helpful in sailing through conflict. That is in conflict with Saturn, which rules Capricorn. Venus is the bottom energy. What's the nickname for a Capricorn in Venus? A power bottom. They feel like they're in control even when they're bottoming because Capricorns like to have control in general. And because they are an earth sign, they want to be grounded. They want to know everything's okay. So Venus stays in your chart for like four to six weeks and it's your passionate planet. It's like, it's, it's Venus is what you think of like the Venus statue, like love, romance, that sort of thing. And for Capricorns and Saturn that we don't really have time for that. Our passion tends to get thrown into work a lot of the time, but when it's in your Venus, there is a, there's an insecurity behind Capricorns. And when you have it in Venus, it might come into the bedroom. And I think that sometimes people with, with that placement will overcompensate and they tend to be uh, a little bit freaky, Not, no judgments, I'm, I'm down for freaky. <laughs> uh, but they, they tend to be a little freaky and it's, I think, their way of power bottoming. So their way of having control, even if they're on the bottom. <laughs> uh, but I will say, listen, if you have a Capricorn in Venus, 
Stop dating those bitches and those assholes. Just stop it. I know you like them and I know you want to, you're drawn to them. Your drive and ambition is difficult for people to keep up with. And that, that's the same thing kind of goes in the bedroom. And Venus, because they're the more passive energy, yet they're in Capricorn, it's a struggle. It's a battle and you don't want to wait to deal with love. These are people shopping in the leather section. They tend to get married really early. And by married, I mean into a committed relationship. And they shouldn't. <laughs> they shouldn't. They should wait. Uh, that you're not in a codependent situation. It's very important for these, this particular placement because they like having control so much that they look for people that are very controlling. Venus and Capricorn, when it comes to sex, they're grounded. They're down to earth. They want to please. Sometimes that bites them in the ass because if they're going to relinquish any sort of control, they still want to feel like they're pleasing you and like they have some sort of control. They're amazing partners. They're super loyal. So if you just wait until they, they're like a wine. <laughs> Venus and Capricorn's like a wine. If you let it age, it's gonna be amazing. But it takes a minute for them to get there. That is a Venus and Capricorn. Mars is the planet of drive and aggression. And it stays in your chart for six to seven weeks. Capricorn in Mars. Mars is ruled by Aries. Aries is fiery. But the good part is what does Earth do to fire? It calms it. They can put it out if you do too much. You don't want to do that. Capricorn and Mars are the toppy tops. They just are. They are naturally in a realm where they know what they're doing. They love sex. Yes, I do have this placement. Capricorns tend to get this, like, like I was saying before, kind of boring, boring, like thing attached to them. This is where they release. That's in the bedroom. And Mars, because it's that top energy and it's aggression and it's like <laughs> Capricorns are so reserved. It's like, where is it going to go? Where's all that passion and energy going to go? Well, <laughs> if you have it in Mars, if you have Capricorn in Mars, it's going into the bedroom. That's where it's going. They like structure, but they're so good at the passionate part of it that it doesn't feel structured. Their structure is for a reason to give you what you want because just like if it's in Venus, they want to please. And if they're the top energy pleaser, they're going to want to dominate and please you in that manner. Always on top. <laughs> That's how it feels when you're with a, a Mars Capricorn. They just want to be on top. I did want to go through and maybe give you a couple of famous Capricorns. Um, and, and this is Capricorn's in the sun sign. In fact, my chart doppelganger, his rising is Capricorn and mine is Sag. Other than that, identical charts were born an hour apart. Uh, that's John Legend. Bradley Cooper. Elvis. Jim Carrey. Michelle Obama. <laughs> Diane Keaton. Betty White. Betty White is a Capricorn. And of course, Dolly Parton. Now when it comes to Venus and Capricorn, Anthony Hopkins. Billy Idol, Sarah McLaughlin. That means she's a freak. <laughs> James Dean, uh, Rachel McAdams, Rick Ross. That's a bad dude right there. <laughs> Capricorn and Mars celebrities. These are the sex god ones, by the way. Of Lady Gaga, Mia Kirshner, AKA Jenny from the original L Word, Julia Roberts, Rod Stewart, Piper Kerman, who is Piper from Orange is the New Black, but the real one. <laughs> Sarah Gilbert, better known as Darlene from Roseanne. Brian Cranston. Walter White himself is a sex god. So I guess my summary is this. Capricorn, the cardinal earth sign ruled by Saturn. They work hard. They work very hard and they like it kinky. <laughs> Let me know what you thought 
Uh, like and subscribe the video, that helps me out. And if you subscribe, if this isn't your sign, you'll get notified when the video for your sign comes out. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I'm gonna learn more by doing these videos. I hope everybody's doing well and happy 2021. Cheers. Kind of asshole-ish. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm allowed because I am one. Fellow Capricorns, you know what I'm talking about. We're, we're not really upset about being assholes. It's just who we are. Hey! So, Capricorn and Mars. Do I agree with that astrologer? I mean, some people might. I don't think that's my decision, but... Uh, <laughs>